everybody, Jennifer here from My Purple Life. I've recently got a lot of comments and questions about um, the Filofax Personal Organizer that I use. And some of you uh, may not be familiar with the Filofax brand and have a lot of questions about what types of organizers are out there, what um, size planner should you use and what kind of inserts um, what I recommend and um, things like that. So I wanted to start this video series um, basically like an introduction to Filofax and really break it down for you guys to help you guys um, get into the Filofax and hopefully start using a personal organizer in your life. For me, I love using um, a Filofax personal organizer to really um, keep my life organized. So I wanted to give you guys sort of a background of how Filofax came about. And it started um, somewhere around World War I. Then it really took off around the 1980s when it really became like a status symbol and everybody had to have a Filofax. Everybody was using a Filofax. Um, some of you may remember using Filofax um, back in school or um, in your jobs, in your, during work. and. Um, it kind of slowed down and people started using um, electronic devices like your iPhone or um, your tablets, your iPads, and everybody has kind of shifted to that. Um, but now, a days, people are starting to realize that electronic devices can fail sometimes. Um, your battery can go dead. Um, you might drop it, you might break it. Um, it just it can sometimes be overwhelming to find information on such a small device. For me, um, I'm a bit very visual person. I need to see everything sort of laid out in front of me so that I it's easy for me to um, really pick and see the information that I need to um, obtain. So I'm gonna go over the organizers that I use in my life so that you guys kind of get an idea of how I um, to use it in your life as well. Some of you may be familiar with other brands such as Franklin Covey, um, Daytimer, Day Runner. Some of you guys use um, bound planners like the Erin Condren planner. Some of you guys still use notebooks and um, some brands that are out there are like Moleskin, um, Rhodia, and there's lots of other journals and notebooks out there. And the reason why I um, use a Filofax personal organizer myself is because I am a mother of two children and I am um, married. So I have um, a lot of things in my life that I need to kind of stay on top of. Um, and keep track of. So the first one I'm gonna um, talk to you guys about first, I actually use four different organizers um, in my life. The first one here that I'm holding is a um, A5 size binder. Um, and I use this basically as my household binder. Um, it kind of keeps my financials, my bills, um, notes, and um, it, I, it also serves as my um, daily journal and it helps me keep track of household chores um, and scheduling events and appointments and basically everything that needs to be done is kept in here. So I have this one, this stays at home. And then I have also a personal sized organizer and it's this one right here. So I carry this one with me. It's a lot more smaller, but it's still big enough that I um, can write um, all the notes that I need to in here. Um, I keep a weekly planner in here so that I have a week at a glance. It looks like this. And then I also keep a monthly calendar so that I have a month at a glance and some note paper as well. And then 
Um, another stay at home binder that I use is this one right here. And again, this is in the personal size. And I love using this because um, it's nice and small enough that I can just keep it um, at my desk. Um, it's very easy um, to access if I need some information, for example, um, some passwords that I don't um, remember, I keep it in here, um, some notes that I like to write for my blog and for making videos like I am today and some recipes, some music that I need to download or um, movies that I need to watch. I like use writing it in this smaller one here. Another one that I use, the fourth one, is um, a compact size and this is actually a zipped version as you can see here is zipped all around and I use this mainly just as a wallet and what's great about this one is it does have pockets for your cash for your coins and um, for me I like to have all my cards laid out in front of me and this system really works for me because I can just flip through the pages and see exactly what card that I need um, instead of using a wallet that maybe only has card slots like this and you can't really see the full-on card so um, and then what's great about this as well is that you can um, add or take away these credit card um, holders um, if you need to so if I have more cards that I need to carry I can just put in another um, business card holder inside or if I feel like I need to slim down and take away some cards I can definitely do that as well so you you're not stuck to what is inside and that's another great reason why I love file effects organizers is because of the customization they're basically just like your um, your normal three ring binder that you may be used to in school or with work but these are just wrapped in beautiful leather and um, it just screams like sophistication and style and it's um, really handy to use as well so um, Filofax does have their own inserts um, they have lots of different styles and I will be um, going over that in a separate video more in detail of um, what's out there and what may work for you as well but you're not stuck to Filofax brand organ um, inserts as well let me guys show you an example again with my A5 binder not only do I use the Filofax inserts but I've also cut out some paper here from a notebook and this one was from the Mead planner and this was ring bound so I took apart the rings and I've punched holes um, to match this specific size um, organizer and that's what I use inside and I use that for my um, daily journal like so so this is um, what's called a day per page and then here are, are the Filofax inserts you can get them in this style and you can get them in any style that you want to basically suit um, your needs if you have more appointments they have um, an inserts that have times on them so that you can write down um, exact um, events or appointments exactly at those times or you, there's also this called the week on two pages so that you have um, a lot of space to write if you have a lot of things to do in your day or something like that so you can cut out if you have um, paper that you want to use in here you can definitely do that if you have um, a special kind of note paper that you like um, for example in the back slot here there's space to put in a notepad and um, I specifically don't use the Filofax notepad paper I like to use my own and this has like a to-do list on it and this so 
if you love stationery, if you love pens, you're going to love using a Filofax. As you can see here, I have lots of different pens that I carry with me. I'm just a pen fanatic. Um, I use ink pens, gel pens, erasable pens. I like to use markers as well. You can use markers. Um, and that's really great. If you have um, some sticky notes that have Hello Kitty on it, or um, you like to color code, or things like that, it's just really, um, you can make it very personalized. As you can see here with this other um, organizer, I have also made my own inserts. Filofax also makes their own dividers that come with the organizers when you purchase them. But you, again, it's very customizable. Um, make it so that it's um, more personalized. I love the color purple, so I made my own purple color dividers, um, some that have floral in them. And I like to use different sticky notes such as this. I have like Hello Kitty sticky notes, so you can do that. Um, if you have watched my videos before, you can um, definitely see that I love customizing my pages. Um, for me, it just, if I have something nice to look at, I'm going to be um, using it more. And um, a great quote that a friend of mine, Lori from Plannerism, said that the more you use it, the more useful it is. So if you are using a planner to organize your your life and you're, you use it a lot and you use it every day, um, it's going to be helpful for you. It's going to be useful. So if I see this and I see that I put the time and effort to make these pages beautiful and um, using different colors to really just make it... Um, more pleasing to the eye, then I'm more likely to do what's actually written down. Um, see, I like to use these um, sticky notes here and nice bright colors um, to really highlight the events that I um, that happen in my life. Another way you can use these. Um, Filofax inserts is using a stamp. If you have a special stamp that helps you um, stay organized, like a checklist stamp, which I use here, um, I just check off all the things that um, I did for the day or did not do for the day so that I know if I it needs to be done or it, it's already been done. I also like to use um, some transparent stickers which help me highlight um, important days um, when um, important events and things like that. So um, that's another great reason why I love using Filofax organizers. And um, if I don't have to carry around, um, for, for example, like a bound planner, because bound planners already have specific pages set. So if, for example, I don't use um, address pages a lot, so... Um, if I don't want to carry such a heavy binder with me, I can go ahead and just take that out because it's just like a three ring binder. Um, if I don't like the inserts I'm using, for example, I'm using um, week on two pages right now. If, let's say, halfway through the year, I wanted to switch to um, a week per page, I can definitely do that. I'm not stuck to whatever... Um, is already bound in the planner because I can just open up these rings um, and switch out whatever paper needs to be switched out. Um, also, it's great because in a way you save money because you're buying just one organizer and then again, once the year is done, you take it out and then put in another year's worth of inserts on um, whatever you like. So um, that's really great there if you only want to spend money on one um, binder instead of paying almost more than a hundred every year for um, a planner that half the pages you don't even use. So basically, you're um, not care you're not stuck to carrying around useless paper. So that's another great option for you guys there. Um, again, you can see how I've um, really decorated my pages. A lot of you crafty people um, are out there and. Um, 
if you love crafts and you love to organize your life, you're going to love using a file box as well. As you can see here, I have used some washi tape to really decorate these pages and um, really make them look more pleasing to the eye as opposed to just um, seeing that and it's kind of just like boring <laughs> but some of you like boring and that's okay that works for you and that's another again a great reason why Filofax is great is because um, if you don't like decorating and you um, want to be able to just have a page for your um, weekly notes have a page just for notes um you there's a lot of inserts out there that can work for you and um or you can again take some out from another notebook and then use them in your file effects organizer as well again i hope um you guys have gathered some useful information about file effects personal organizers um this is how i use it for my life um you, you can use it for journaling, you can use it for goal planning. Um, some people use it as a food journal or like a diet journal. And I, like myself, I use it as a wallet. So you can definitely use it as a wallet slash planner. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.